People will do anything to get rich. But we found a guy who gave up everything to become homeless on purpose. This millionaire gave up his car, his house, and all his money. And you'll never guess why. Here is the incredible story of Mike Black. Hey Nas Daily, I'm Mike Black. You may have seen those people who went from nothing to being millionaires, but I'm the millionaire who gave up everything on purpose. Mike has been an entrepreneur his whole life, but in July 2020, he decided to walk away from everything. So I knew a lot of people who lost everything during the pandemic and they got really depressed. I even had a friend that lost a $10 million business overnight. Mike tried to talk to his friends about how to rebuild their lives, but it just wasn't working. He wanted to prove to the world that you don't need luck or money to become a millionaire as long as you work hard. So he came up with a crazy idea. Sorry, cut the video. I need to tell you something. You are not subscribed to Nas Daily YouTube channel. That's why you need to subscribe. Before the end of the year 2022, we want to get to 10 million followers. And please, please, please subscribe so we hit our goal and reach many, many more people. The next video is going to be even better. So please subscribe. Thank you so much. Back to the video. The idea was to start from nothing, to build a new business and grow it to a million dollars in 12 months. That's how the million dollar comeback challenge started. On day one of the challenge, Mike saw just how hard it is to become homeless. People refused to give him water and he could not find a place to stay. I tried writing to people on Craigslist where people post their rooms for rent and I got some really strange offers. I did have someone message me on Craigslist that said they'll give me a, a hundred bucks if I let them So I got one of those messages. By the end of the day, Mike was hungry, thirsty, tired, and hopeless. Today has been not a great day. Didn't make any money. This is uh, my bench right here that uh, I'm going to be sleeping on tonight. So. <laughs> Until this happened. 11 o'clock, this kid hit me up and said like, hey man, you can crash here. This stranger picked Mike up, fed him, and let him stay in his RV for a few weeks. This is Isaac. What's up, Isaac? Howdy, y'all. Just drove 10 miles to, to grab me. He even brought me food. You are just so amazing, man. I cannot thank you enough. Because of Isaac's help, Mike had a roof over his head and could focus on his goals. On day two, Mike made his first 300 bucks after he helped sell free furniture that he found online. It was so nice to finally get some food and clothes. On day five, he made more money and got his first computer. We got this now, baby, so now it's time to put this thing to work. On day 13, he got his own office space. I'm just so pumped, so excited. Here is Kind of like the common area. On day 49, he got his own place. The house, I got it. And by day 91, he had started a rent hacking business. He was landing big clients as a social media manager and he launched his very own business. Look at where we're at right now. Yeah, we're not like making millions of dollars, but look at this. Gonna be living potentially in a mansion rent free. I'm getting on calls with big tech companies pitching them on running their social media. I'm starting a coffee brand. I have a coffee dude now in Austin. I mean, everything's going in the direction. Dude, three months ago, I was homeless. But on day 138, this happened. On Tuesday, I learned that uh, my dad was officially diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, and he just started chemo. Mike started to question the whole project. For me, health and family were much more important than the challenge, so I decided to stop the whole project. I uh, talked to Davey here. so. My dad. Hey, now, bro. Mike ended the challenge with 60 days left and $64,000. This isn't just about like going from homeless to whatever. The only reason I did that was so you could see that I was starting at a lower point than you. Mike's story is incredible. Even though he didn't reach a million dollars, we saw that it is possible to rebuild your life through the power of determination. But we also saw just how hard it is to be homeless. In the beginning, Mike couldn't think about making money until he found a place to sleep and food to eat. After Isaac saved him from the streets, Mike had the help he needed to get back on his feet and focus on his future. This is the power of generosity. 
you are just so amazing, man. I cannot thank you enough. It's been a tough day. I'm really sorry about that, man. I, I'm glad I could. I'm glad I could help. Just thank you so much. Of course, of course. We should always remember to help those in need because it could be the opportunity that they need.